Hello everyone, this is Mirzai from Kapoi Pomona and in this lesson we are going to explore the sensitivity analysis of a linear programming problem. In this series of videos related to sensitivity analysis, we are in part two that we explore different changes in the linear programming problem parameters that might change the optimal solution. In this lesson, we investigate change four, which is changing the column of a non-basic variable. Suppose we are given a linear programming problem and its uh, optimal table as shown on the screen. Given the basic variables in the optimal table, using a system of uh, matrix equation, we are able to calculate all the numbers inside this table using those equations. Now in this um, change, which is change 4, uh, we are trying to change the column of a non-basic variable in the original table and figure out how that would impact our final solution. Uh, changing the column of a non-basic variable is indeed changing the technological coefficient of that decision variable in the original table. So basically I'm trying to see if I change some of these coefficient or the amount of resources um, that I use for product X2, how that would impact my final solution. For example, suppose the company has implemented some process improvement methods and has been able to reduce the resources required for the production of the product to or X2. Does the production plan change? So this is the type of question that you usually get. You want to know by changing the amount of resources that you use for each of those decision variables, uh, is there a meaningful difference in the value of objective function that you have calculated? So in this scenario, our um, current um, uh, coefficient of x2 decision variable in the system of equation is 6 to 1.5. Now we're going to change this to 5 to 4. Usually the change in the technological coefficient is accompanied by some changes in the objective function coefficient as well. So let's say the profit for x2, or the coefficient of x2 in the objective function, which currently is 30, also is going to change by this process improvement. And from 30, you're going to 50. So by implementing these changes in the amount of resources that you're using, you've been able to improve your profit for the x2 from 30 to 50 and you're trying to understand whether your current production plan is going to change or stays the same. So now and given these two changes I want you to think about the equations that you have to recalculate because aj and cj are the uh, vectors that are changing this time and if I look at this system of equation that I have uh, laid out here I see I, uh, AJ appears here AJ and CJ appears here but there is no AJ CJ here so what I have to do first is to recalculate these uh, values which is the coefficient of non-basic variables in the optimal table as well as their coefficient in the row of Z this is a maximization problem if I solved uh, the value for the coefficient of non-basic variable in the row of z and everything is positive or zero this time, it means I remain in the optimal table and nothing is going to change. But if I get a negative value here, it means that I have to continue the table to find a new optimal solution. So that's the whole goal here. So let's recalculate CBB inverse AJ minus CJ. This is my B inverse, this is my CB, and this is my AJ, the new AJ, remember? For that here you have to put your new AJ and your CJ again here you should be your new CJ which is 50 this time so if I calculate the CBB inverse AJ minus CJ I get 10 and 10 is positive so I remain in the same optimal table so basically what happens the change that you see that under X2 here instead of 5 you're going to have 10 and it means that you're still in the same optimal table. But if I were in the situation that my change would cause me to have a negative value, let's say negative 4, just as an example, then you had to continue this table by picking the most negative value and implementing the minimum test and going to the next table. You had to continue until you reach to a new optimal table. But in this scenario, since we have a positive value, we don't continue the table and this table will remain feasible. To answer the question, does the production, the new production plan change, you simply answer no. 
With this change, you, st you still produce the same amount, your right-hand side, and the value of your objective function is going to stay the same. But as I said, if you had the case that the value of x2 was a negative term, such as negative 4, you had to continue and find a new answer for your production plan. But with this change, your current optimal solution remains the same. With this, our lesson in sensitivity analysis of a linear programming problem, part 2, changing the column of a non-basic variable, has concluded. Please refer to your Blackboard for your assignments.